maybe the uh, number of rooms okay and many much more maybe the uh, location at which that plot or flat is located so there are so many features on which the price is dependent so if we want to reduce the feature because see if number of features are more obviously the machine will also find it difficult to do prediction if we are trying to reduce one of the features or multiple features then it comes under dimensionality reduction for example suppose if we have two features like uh, area of a uh, flat and number of rooms okay so it won't make any difference if we uh, exclude number of rooms because ultimately it is related to the area of a flat so and similarly if suppose there are the one dependent feature is the num number of floors which on which floor that particular flat is located so if we, if we are skipping that feature it won't make much difference it will not make much difference on the price so if we are dropping that feature it will be easy for us to predict what will be the price of a flat so in this way this dimensionally reduction will help us to do accurate prediction i hope you understood all the uh, uh, all the algorithm of unsupervised and supervised learning if you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead hello my dear students this is shilpi saxena welcome to my channel learning hub so today we are going to learn about different machine learning models so we will start first of all these models we will cover in this video we will start with the learning that is supervised and unsupervised learning which we have already discussed in my previous video so first of all just a quick recap what is supervised learning in which we will give machine the input as well as output as well as algorithm so we train the machine based on the labeled input basically for example if i give it a machine the picture of dog and tell it that this is uh, dog and if we will give picture of cat we will tell machine that it is dog so we will keep on giving different input with the labels that this is dog this is cat this is dog this is cat in this way we are training the machine so that it can identify the new data okay so basically the training it it uh, supervised learning works on label data so algorithm there are two different algorithm in this supervised learning which are in our syllabus that is classification and regression see children this is very important topic and little bit complicated to understand what type of questions will be asked in this they will just give you example and they will ask you to identify which type of algor which type of model it is which type of algorithm is used in this so and in this year in term 1 class 10th also many questions were based on clustering and classification so please read it properly this is very important topic so we'll start with classification classification what is classification the technique in which uh, the data is classified according to labels basically because it is supervised learning so whatever data we are giving it will be labeled even the output we will tell them that this type of segregation is to be done based on the label which we have already declared that this is red color ball for example this is blue color ball so we have already given the label of output that what output should be there so the classification is a problem in which the output variable is a category such as red blue or we can say disease or not disease or what kind of cancer it is the student is pass or fail so we have already defined the output and then classification is done based on that particular output classification works basically on discrete data okay Uh, it uh, we can use it can uh, do classification of continuous data also in some cases, but it is not actually the uh, output. But it can be classified as probability. It's not actually classification. So basically, uh, classification works on discrete data, not continuous data. Classification training and testing is very very necessary. So we have to do training properly. And for example, um, if we are we want machine to predict gender of a person, so we have to train the machine to identify whether based on whatever it see whatever the computer vision is it based on the computer vision it will classify the person as male female or transgender okay 
So another example I would like to add. Let's suppose we have trained the machine in such a way that output is zero when it is seeing laptop. It is one when it is seeing suppose TV and it is two means mobile. Okay, we have classified the categories. Another example we can say spam mail or non-spam mail. Then the if classes are more than more than two, then it is called multi-class classification. If we are Categorizing the data only in two, then it is uh, classification, and then it if um, binary classification, and if we are it we are categorizing it into more than two classes, then it is multi-class classification. Okay, now the different types of classification. The first one is binary classification that I already told you that is, is it spam or non spam okay is it boy or girl fine if we are classifying into more than two types then it is multi class classification like hand another example is handwritten character recognition where the classes goes from 0 to 9 okay so multiple classes are there Next is regression. So regression is a problem when the output variable is real or continuous. In classification, we use discrete values. Here we are using real or continuous values, such as salary, wage, height, etc. So, for example, what we are trying to do in this regression is we are trying to achieve a line. You can see this uh, graph. You can see this graph. So basically, what we are doing, we are trying to achieve this line. Each and every line, you know very well, has a has an equation. Okay, we have to find this equation in such a way. For example, we uh, suppose we have a variable independent. These are independent variable. Okay, and this is dependent variable. Suppose this is area. I'm taking it as area, area of a, a flat or plot. Okay, and we have to find the price. So based on the area. we have to derive an equation that based on the area of the plot it should give the price so uh, that type of equation we are trying to plot a line so that see this is the data this is the data we are basically trying to reduce this gap between the data points and the line so that all the data points should fall on this line and so we can directly get the value of price based on the particular area this is what we are trying to do in regression so regression is a technique which helps in finding the correlation between the variables what is the exact relation between the variables how they are dependent on each other and enables us to predict the continuous output variable based on one or more predictor variables okay the so regression shows a line or a curve that passes through all the data points of the graph fine so i hope this regression is clear now we will move ahead examples of regression example of classification is was basically we are trying to make classes of gender classification was there then spam mail non spam mail basically in two uh, two or more classes here the example will be just see the difference between classification and regression we are predicting the age of a person we are predicting the age of a person based on maybe the looks maybe uh, some other criteria can be there based on that we can predict the age of a person predicting the nationality of the person predicting whether the stock price of a company will increase tomorrow so based on the data we can just predict the stock price or another example which i have already explained predicting the price of a flat or a plot based on the area of a plot we know very well that price depends on multiple factors but just for a sake of example we are, we can consider that prediction is based on one or more variable okay next is unsupervised learning now you all know very well i have already explained unsupervised learning we don't give the output based on the patterns based on whatever it sees it classifies the Uh, the data into different categories at unsupervised learning is a training of a machine using information that is neither classified nor labeled so the difference between unsupervised and supervised and supervised we are already giving labels that this is uh, cat this is dog this is apple this is papaya here we are not giving the label 
it is identifying the patterns it is identifying the similarity it is identifying the features and based on whatever it sees it classifies the data into different classes so in this the very very important is clustering so what is clustering this is a machine learning approach where the machine generates its own rules and algorithm okay here we don't give algorithm we don't give rules we don't give labels what we will not tell what will be the uh, label of the classes but based on the uh, pattern it will uh, it will achieve the pre decided goal okay clustering in clustering we are grouping the objects in such a way that each member of the group is similar to each other they are closely related to each other but it is very different from the member of another group you can see the graph i have plotted this you can see the picture we are forming the groups so as shown in the graph that group or group of data you can see the group of data it is unsupervised learning because we don't know how many groups will be there so based on the data based on the pattern based on the feature it will group the data so that is why it is known as that is why it comes under unsupervised learning because we are not aware about the group which will be made okay for example suppose i'll give one example then it will be easy for you to understand that we are, suppose we are we have fruits in a basket okay then we when we want to form cluster then it can be done based on the color like mango papaya can be in one group and so on based if we are making the group based on the colors it will keep mango and papaya in one it will keep apple or cherry in another group so in this way the clusters will be made or we can say that suppose we want to open a laptop shop and we are if we are selling it and we if we have to focus on the market so we we will just plot a picture we are, we will plot a pie chart and then based on the whether they are kids whether they are non working women we will form the cluster and we will basically concentrate on that category the like who are uh, males and working and uh, of age group to suppose 25 to 40 they will be more uh, they will like to purchase laptop more in comparison to the small kids in comparison to the older people or in comparison to the non working um, women so in this way the clustering will be beneficial for us last but not the least is first of all examples like identifying fake news uh, spam filter marketing and sales identifying fraud and and criminal activity so these are few real time uh, real life example of clustering which are used very commonly now now last but not the least is dimensionality reduction now what is dimensionality re dimensionality reduction it is a it is an algorithm of unsupervised type basically when we are trying to reduce the features for prediction then it is dimensionality reduction it is a, it is a transformation of data from high dimensional space to low dimensional space so that the low dimensional represent retain some meaningful properties of original data means basically as we uh, read in regression when we wanted to calculate the area of when we want to predict the price of a plot based on area so we the the prediction was dependent on one very one feature only so if we have many features for example in the same example of uh, uh, predicting price of a flat or a plot so when we are predicting the price there are many maybe many features maybe the area of a flat or maybe the direction maybe the uh, number of rooms okay and many much more maybe the location at which that plot or flat is located so there are so many features on which the price is dependent so if we want to reduce the feature because see if number of features are more obviously the machine will also find it difficult to do prediction if we are trying to reduce one of the features or multiple features then it comes under dimensionality reduction for example suppose if we have two features like uh, area of a uh, flat and number of rooms okay so it won't make any difference if we uh, exclude number of rooms because ultimately it is related to the area of a flat so and similarly if suppose there are the one dependent feature is the num number of floors which on which floor that particular flat is located 
so if we, if we are skipping that feature it won't make much difference it will not make much difference on the price so if we are dropping that feature it will be easy for us to predict what will be the price of a flat so in this way this dimensionally reduction will help us to do accurate prediction i hope you understood all the uh, uh, all the algorithm of unsupervised and supervised learning if you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead